Harsha, you've uh, watched Indian Test Match cricket for many, many years and Mohamed Siraji had such a, a great impact in Australia. He just looks like he's the kind of bowler I'd want to captain. You know, you throw the ball to him and he makes things happen. You've got Shami, you've got Bumrah and now you've got Mohamed Siraj. How impressive is Mohamed Siraj? Siraj was thrown into a situation in Australia that could either crush you or make you. Because you, in your second or third test match, are the lead go-to bowler for your captain. So you can either, as I said, be crushed or you can say, wow, I've done well. I think doing well in Australia was the making of Mohammad Siraj. There's a little subplot to that. Before he went to Australia, he was one of the best products of one of the best initiatives in Indian cricket for a very long time, which was the A-Tour program. And there as the lead bowler at one level just below test match cricket, he's done all the hard yards. So when he comes into test match cricket, it's not someone who's coming from Ranji Trophy to test match cricket and he's thinking, typically in our Hyderabadi language. No, he was not like that. He was already ready. But those five wickets that he took in Australia, I think that was the making of him. So he comes here, he doesn't have the pressure of being the lead bowler, he's got to keep the pressure going. There's one other thing about Siraj. I've always felt Siraj, the red ball bowler, is, is a fantastic bowler because there is that natural speed to him through that arm speed, through that run up, that bustling action, and he doesn't get tired. Young man bowling long spells. I, I wasn't, I was, I was surprised a little bit by Siraj in Australia, but after what he had done in Australia, I thought, wow, perfect third seamer, perfect passing of the bait, and Ishant is coming to the end, Siraj is starting, and I thought, I thought Siraj was ready. And what he did that evening, literally pulling the game out and delivering it to Virat Kohli. I have one other theory that I cannot, I cannot substantiate, but I think all through his formative years, he's looked up to Virat Kohli. To him, Virat Kohli is this wow that someone else in another generation thought was Tendulkar. And you, he, he's gone on record as saying that when he came in the company of Virat Kohli, he was just gaping and he was looking and saying, this is Virat. Virat goes to his house, it's the biggest moment of his career. So I think Virat going and telling Siraj, you can win me this test match, would have taken him, transported him to another level. So I think there was a role that Virat Kohli played at that point, but I thought Siraj was ready. And we, we don't give enough credit to the A2 program. We've got to understand that Mohamed Siraj is someone who's broken down doors to get into that test team. Every A tour that he has been part of prior to that, he has either been the best bowler or the highest wicket taker. For some period of time now, we're talking about at least four to five A tours, which happens over a period of three to four years. When somebody shows you that amount of consistency, it shows you two things. Number one, that the Indian current pace attack is probably one of the better ones going around because it's so hard to get in. Number two, if somebody is able to do that for four to five years in A tour, then you know, you have to know that he is somebody who is special and uh, his, his opportunity came obviously prior to the series as well but this England series went well for him not only because he was able to produce you know, breathtaking deliveries but also the fact that he was able to show his skill set because he had a skill set which is very similar to Broad in many ways. He had that scramble seam, he had the ability to take the ball away from the right hander which is really hard and you could see in that small spell that he bowled, why he was rated as one of the better ones going around in Indian cricket because he was sharp, he troubled the left-handers and he had a bouncer that a lot of people feared. So, here was a bowler who said, hey, I'm ready and I'm here to stay. We saw glimpses of him down under, but I think this series in those conditions showed why he is so special.